In episode 7, the committee decided that Tasha could stay at St Joseph's Abbey Field, whilst Roy and Fez officially moved into their forever home. Today is the Pedigree Adoption Drive Underdog Day, which is our opportunity to bring all these fabulous rescue dogs down to Bondi Beach to meet and greet the public. General Vibe is really, really good actually, especially the little Sharpays. They're um, getting a lot of attention. A little Lily or a little Missy, we're not sure yet. Um, but yeah, today's our first day of meeting and it's very, very, very exciting. The motivation for today is to break those misconceptions about rescue dogs, to get them out in the public so people can meet and greet them and find out that there, there's nothing wrong with these dogs, there's nothing faulty about these dogs, they're fantastic pets. Snoop's the gentlest, politest dog. He has grown since he's come to us. He was a little bit afraid and a little bit shy and he didn't interact, but within a week or so, he was lovely. So I wanted to get a rescue dog, but I really wanted a Labrador, and I thought there was, I'd never find that, but I was absolutely amazed to see how many beautiful labs there are that are available for rescue, and getting an adult was just perfect for us. I mean, it's great to buy a cute little puppy, but also some of the dogs that really do need rehousing and rehoming are, are dogs that are maybe two or three or four. Speaking of older dogs, let's check in to see how Ernie has settled into his new home. I think the first day we got him home, he did a good perimeter check and these guys just instantly hit it off. They snuggle together, they eat together, kind of like they've been together for eight years or something. I think it's also nice to know that their lives could have been really different if we hadn't met them and I think I really like that. When they're curled up in bed it's like, you've done well, you know and a nice place to stay. And so has Gilbert, who's finally fallen on his paws. I fell in love with him straight away because of his um, fluffy ears and his um, cute tail. It looks so innocent. Yeah, the innocent look of yeah. him. Yeah. So sort of, you know, like that kind-hearted look. With a family of five, it was probably a little overwhelming <laughs> for him. But after a couple of days, he made himself at home, snuggles in with whoever's there. He um, runs around and bumps his head on everything. Like, he's very clumsy. Yeah, I couldn't imagine him just being left in the pound, all lonely, with no one loving him. So the adoption drive is at the heart of what the Pedigree brand is about. We believe that dogs make the world a better place for us, so we want to make the world a better place for them. And we believe that every dog deserves a loving home. So through the Pedigree brand and through the adoption drive, we're giving these homeless dogs the voice that they deserve. Well, our story is a happy one for the underdogs, but every year over 100,000 dogs just like Tasha, Ernie, Gilbert, Roy and Fez do not find homes. Please help us to help homeless dogs by considering adopting a dog. Why not visit pedigreeadoptiondrive.com.au today and find out how you can help. Thanks for watching. Oh.